So this is Eddystone packet format. So at the SDK, there's an example for Eddystone beacon, which is the micro Eddystone beacon. Micro because it uses the micro BLS stack. So just uh, import micro Eddystone beacon to your CCS workspace. Then open micro Eddystone beacon.c. So when uh, Google announced the Eddystone uh, beacon, uh, they introduced introduce, uh, three Eddystone packet, which is the Eddystone UID, Eddystone URL, and then Eddystone TLM. Later on, they, they will add um, another packet format, which is the Eddystone UID, EID. So for now, we will discuss Eddystone UID, Eddystone URL, and Eddystone TLM. So as you can see from the struct, this is the advert advertisement uh, data. So this is the header and then the Eddystone frame. So at the Eddystone frame, you either select Eddystone UID, Eddystone URL, and Eddystone TLM. So how this works is actually it's a it's a the TLM will accompany either uh, Eddystone UID or Eddystone URL. For example, it will ad advertise Eddystone UID 99 times, and at the 100 uh, 100 advertisement, it will um, advertise Eddystone TLM. Say same with Eddystone URL. For example, it will advertise uh, URL, Eddystone URL 99 times and at the 100 advertise, advertise it will advertise Eddystone DLM. So let us know uh, what uh, are the frame formats for the Eddystone UID, URL, and TLM. So the Eddystone UID here is similar to the iBeacon UUID and major minor. So here, ranging data from what I have read is same with uh, TX power. Namespace is uh, same with UUID. Instance ID is like uh, you can use for store identifier. URL, you have the TX power and then uh, the URL. TLM, you have battery voltage. Temperature, ad advertisement count, and time since power up reboot. So, while advertising, for example, UID, you can also get. Uh, as I have mentioned, you will you for example you will ad advertise U UID frame ninety nine times, and at the one hundred advertis other advertisement is the TLM. So you get um health of your beacon okay so re with regards to url frame so this is much better done from my um op own opinion much better than i beacon because uh, as i have mentioned the i beacon it uh, would refer to a database but here you can encode the url for example you approach this Eddystone beacon uh, at a store, you would get a URL linking to a um, promotion or discounts. If you are touring a tour spot and you approach a, for example, a historical building, you would get a URL linking to information about that building. If you are in a museum, uh, you would get a URL linking to information about, for example, painting or statue. So, okay. So, to get much better information regarding Google Edstone, go to github.com slash google slash edstone. So, here is information about Edison Beacon. 
And if you want to know information about the Ediston frame, for example, um, TLM. So here. So Ediston TLM. So TLM uh, to mention is telemetry means telemetry. So you're sending telemetry means you're sending uh, sensor data over uh, over wire wireless. In this case, we're using Bluetooth. So here uh, UID. URL. So, okay, so let's discuss about Edison EID. So, Edison EID is a new frame type that defines a cryptographically secure method of con configuring a beacon to broadcast information that only authorized people may de decrypt. So, it was announced in April 2016. So, same with um, UID. Uh, and URL, so for Ediston EID, it will be accompanied by Ediston TLM. So here are, is more information about Ediston EID. So it broadcasts an encrypted ephemeral identifier that changes periodically at a rate determined during the initial registration with the web service. So here is the frame specification. And you can see example implementations here. So here's one for TICC two six four forty. And later we will discuss what this is.